$1.25 million in the Met Mile. Let's go to Tom Durkin, the voice of the New York Racing Association, for the call. They're in the gate. And they're off. Romance's early speed, Broadway Empire, Golden Sense has speed today. Shaking it up, tries to angle over toward the inside. Up the back stretch they go. Broadway Empire shortly. Golden Sense runs along in second. Scarlet Charlie is third. Marino now runs along in fourth. Romance fifth on the outside. Palace Malice gets a foothold at the rail. Sixth, fifth, fourth, and third now is Palace Malice. Farther back clearly now is in the clear on the far outside. Followed by Vijack, who's pinned down toward the rail for the time being. Declan's Warrior just to the inside of shaking it up. That pair about nine from the lead. Normandy Invasion starting to hit his best ride. Five furlongs from the line. Capo Bastoni trails the field and Broadway Empire leads the field. Broadway Empire out on a 60 to 1 prayer with a half mile remaining here. Halfway home in 45 and 3 fifths seconds. And then it's Golden Sense who's moving comfortably, just three quarters of a length behind. Romance on the outside. Palace Malice, three lengths from the lead with less than three furlongs to go. Vijack's under a ride. Clearly now there on the outside. Scarly Charlie comes on through in between horses as the field turns for home. Broadway Empire still with a narrow lead. Golden Sense, hand ride now in front. Palace Malice looking to get switched out for some running room. He's in pretty tight now. Romance is there and clearly now on the outside, Golden Sense to catch, and here comes Palace Malice. Romance on the outside, and Palace Malice goes bounding to the front. Palace Malice, magnificent once again. He won it by a length over Golden Sense, then Romance, who was close for fourth, shaking it up for clearly now. Palace Malice, you know, he, he saved ground. It took a long time for him to shake loose, but once he found a seam, he was so much the best. And we give Nick Hines some credit right now because he, he was telling us all along that Palace Malice wants to be outside, not comfortable on the inside, and this is a great racehorse, Nick to win a race like this and be uncomfortable most of the race. Well, it's remarkable to think that when you look inside the quarter mile marker, you can notice his head carriage. He looks very uncomfortable. And in fact, he didn't switch leads until he gets within reach of a Golden Sense. And when he does, he extends beautifully. And the Golden Sense, I was a little surprised and credit, by the way, Johnny V, you mentioned, now the all-time winningest rider of the uh, Met Mile. But uh, great race. Palace Malice joining Rarified Company. Won the Belmont last year. He wins the 121st running of the Met Mile.